Hey guys, it's Faith. Um, Tate and I had some technical difficulties today, as always we do on Mondays for some reason. Um, so our show is going to be a little shorter today, so we apologize for that. Um, but you guys make sure to tune in uh, tomorrow and hopefully the show will go swimmingly and that you guys can check out the entirety of our hour show. So sorry for the inconvenience, but thank you guys so much for your views and support. The Dallas Cowboys owner speculates Dak Prescott could be gone in 2025. Dak Prescott will be the Dallas Cowboys quarterback for the 2024 season. After that, all bets are off. Prescott has one year remaining on his contract coming into the offseason. Prescott's play during the regular season had him in contention for the NFL MVP award. It appeared the franchise quarterback would be headed towards a big extension this offseason, but his disappointing performance in the playoffs might have owner Jerry Jones reconsidering his position on the most important piece of the team's roster. All right. So anything else you're going to add on to this one? Well, it's speculated that he's going to be – Stack is very shrewd at how he does things. He doesn't, like – he doesn't negotiate with the media. Things get leaked out that, you know, he wants to see, you know, reset the market 60, 65, you know. And the in the article, when Jerry was asked, where did this come from? Are they saying that Jer – what did Jerry say? Does it tell you exactly what Jerry – uh, said in in the article, and the reason why I'm trying to see where this article came from at what angle is it that they're taking? You know, I told you, if they if Jerry Jones says anything, they'll start reading through the tea leaves and speculating what he said, or is this just something that someone was like, oh, Jerry looked kind of funny today, so I. I, you know, he looked grumpy this morning. <laughs> um, so Jerry Jones uh, hints Prescott could be out in 2025. Despite logistically needing to get something done with Prescott, Jones said he's not worried about his quarterback to free agency next offseason. Um Jerry Jones said, what we do there or don't do with Prescott's contract, I couldn't say at this time, but the main thing is he's going to be our quarterback. Jones's words, don't do, are the critical part of that quote. Jones is making it public that there is a possibility the Cowboys will not extend Prescott this offseason or before he hits, for, hits free agency next year. Okay, now see, this is what I wanted to hear here. Okay, this is this article is kind of speculating, reading the tea leaves. What Jerry is saying is one, it's very smart. You cannot go out there and be like, you know what? Jerry has done this in the past and it's really bit him in the uh, hind quarters, let's just say. You can't be like, our number one goal is to sign Dak Prescott. There is, you know, I remember him saying, "There is no, no, there's, there's no check big enough that I, I wouldn't sign, you know, to bring him back." Well, that stuff comes out. Like, thank you for telling me that. I, I was asking for twenty. Now I'm going to ask for thirty. Maybe now forty. And as Jerry starts talking in the media, he starts resetting the market himself. This time, I think it's wise to say, hey, he's pretty much saying he's our quarterback for 2024. Jerry knows Dak has a no trade clause. Dallas can't trade him. They have a he has a non franchise tag on him, meaning they can't franchise tag him. Normally, if you can, if you're able to franchise tag a person. You can, even though they're a free agent, you can give them a franchise and give them the average of the top five highest paid quarter, I mean, uh, quarterbacks in the league and give him that average price. Under his contract, that's not even an option. So it's either at the end of this year, either you sign Dak Prescott or you have to let him go. 
And so Jerry is just more or less saying like, listen, what we do know is for 2024, he's our quarterback, you know, and we have no say on this one. He's our quarterback. We can't get rid of him. We're not going to bench him. Uh, we're not going to, we can't trade him. We can't do anything. So the only thing they can do is either let the contract run out or give him one hell of a pay bump. As I've been, I've been very open on this show that even though Dak Prescott, this whole thing about Dak Prescott not being an elite quarterback, Dak Prescott is absolutely an elite quarterback. Dak Prescott is absolutely a Pro Bowl caliber quarterback. But I feel like when you start getting to the $60 million mark, I need a Hall of Famer. I need something that nobody else has. You know, he's Dak, Kirk Cousins. They're kind of almost the same guy. You know, I want something that nobody else has. You know, when you start looking at the Cowboys, and I believe the Cowboys still have Trey Lance on on the roster as their backup quarterback. And you start looking at what's the future. You start looking at all the players that are a free agent. Tyron Smith who looks like he's going to be gone. They're, they're starting to lose. Uh, they're going to lose a number of players strictly because they don't have enough salary cap space. If, if they're going to start losing players, maybe it is time to restart it. We set the, the team. I would not pay any quarterback that is not something, a one of one type quarterback. Am I paying $60 million or resetting the market? Um, I would have said, you know, it's easy to say I'll pay Patrick Mahomes whatever he wants. Um, but even when I look at Lamar Jackson last year, and Lamar Jackson wanted kind of um, uh, Deshaun Watson money, and no one would give it to him. No one would even consider giving it to him. If Lamar Jackson can't get it, two-time MVP, then why would you give it to Dak Prescott? I'm not doing it. I mean, I'm sorry. Dak's, Dak's a great quarterback. But I would rather see the Dallas Cowboys go out and maybe trade or work with Trey Lance or whatever they have and bring in a new quarterback, maybe a veteran, someone like that. But make the, the Cowboys, ensure that the Cowboys is, is solid around all their positions, I think is a smarter decision than giving – Dak, uh, a five-year, three hundred million dollar contract with a with a hundred million dollar signing bonus. You know, you're talking four hundred million dollars wrapped up in one player. I'm not doing it. I I just I don't I don't see how is in a world where the salary cap matters. And Jerry has often talked about. You know, you don't understand what. A, how big of a check I would write to get another Super Bowl. Well, Jerry, you have written many of very large checks out there, and I commend you for it. But writing a big check doesn't always mean that's the formula for being a successful team. Sometimes you got to take a step back in order to move forward. And as a guy who's a Dak Prescott fan, I say you need to take a step back to move forward. Run this year out with Dak, but then start preparing for 2025 without him. Because when you look at it, there's a lot of guys. The As we talked about this, Faith, we talk about the Dallas Cowboys every day. The Dallas Cowboys is the biggest brand and here's the pro here's one of the biggest problems why I would not sign Dak. Dak being the brand of the Dallas Cowboys, 
you know, Roger Staubach, billionaire, became a billionaire. Don Meredith became, you know, the face of advertising and media, Mr. Coffee, I mean, and all that stuff back in the days and Monday Night Football and broadcast. Uh, Tony Romo, still one of the biggest names in broadcasting. Uh, you go back and you say Troy Aikman, one of the biggest names in broadcasting, advertising dollars. When you're the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, it is worth hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. And that still takes approach. I want to reset the market. And the last negotiation, I want to be the highest paid quarterback. Well, you're raking in, and I, like I said, I don't like spending another man's money, but this deals with salary cap issues. When you look at how much he makes by being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboy outside of being the Dallas Cowboy quarterback, taking a little bit of a cut, it's still worth it. That's why I said, would I sign Dak Prescott for $50 million? Sure. I would have no problem signing Dak for $50 million, taking that other 10 or $15 million to sign some of the players around him to make the team better. That's still going to get it back on endorsement dollars and what it means for his career to finish his career as a Cowboy quarterback. But it doesn't seem like that matters to Dak. Dak wants to be, he wants it all. That's kind of the way it is perceived. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't want to go to.